Alrighty, alrighty. Well, folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, friends and foes. We have had quite the past, I would say, few days, but week, two weeks, uh, a lot of action in our lives here um, in every essence. So let's kind of just go over a general view of everything here. So let's go ahead and start with Bitcoin slash BitMEX. Now, as much as we have enjoyed breaking the 100 day moving average and going up into the 8,000s. As we look at a little dose of reality, we always called these past, what, month or two that this kind of would be our top and then we continue the downtrend, which um, I haven't really changed my mind on. There are some things that make me feel that in two three months we could absolutely hit a big spike such as the 1 million Bitcoin spoof Chinese Rothschild um, Intel that we've spoken about on this channel now here's what I want what I want technically is for us to touch the 7500 um, so we can get rejected and go back up. I would really like to punch in an order of Bitcoin at $7,500. Floating in this space, <coughs> we've said we're kind of in the unknown, right? Which is why I wish I, I, I should have started the pool, you know, the week before we started it. But, oh well. Now, as far as the BitMEX trading pool, um, we've been riding the good short actually since last night. And so we're building that up a little bit and just 10x leveraging it. And um, we're going to build that puppy up for the weekend. And then we're going to go ham. Okay, so there's your BitMEX pool update. It's actually certainly in times like these, I am thankful for being involved in arbitraging. If... For all of you who don't know, I have access to the MBOT. It works. I can do arbitrage trades right now, and there's certainly been some opportunity uh, to make some great arbitraging trades. This is a great time for arbitraging. Um, listed on Coin Market Cap, I just noticed this. It's listed as arbitrage instead of arbitraging, but I'll take it. Arbitrage is on Coin Market Cap, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, MBOT, all that stuff's in the works. I'm getting paid every day from arbitraging, uh, so I'm certainly thankful in volatile times. It's nice to have that daily income every single day, um, no matter what the price is doing. This coin is separate on its own, and I really like that. Forbes apparently knows why the Bitcoin price is tanking. They go over kind of a list of just how everything is going down, and guess what? They say these good times could be over. So to me, I think I'm going to buy a little more Bitcoin on all the BitMEX accounts, because we know how it works when Forbes or CNBC or something comes out saying one thing it's going to go the other way. So don't be surprised if tomorrow we go back up again. Now here's what's pushing Bitcoin price lower. These guys need a Chinese flag right here. In fact, last night, I wanted to do a video putting a Chinese flag right here, but I was too tired. And the truth is, is I did have a long position on Bitcoin on a private Wales BitMEX. Um, and I know some of you guys did too. So we're basically buying that down under 7,800 and the reason why I was hoping it touches the 75 is so we can bounce back up. We can clear that trade, make a fatty profit, and then uh, see what happens next, right? So we're in the unknown. So right now, for all the BitMEX folks in the Discord, I uh, put it in the positions. Walk away, folks. 
walk away. Right now, it's impossible to predict what happens next. Impossible. You got to let the let the whales and uh, let them play ball right now. Know your place in the food chain. Right now, I'm going through the BitMEX uh, messages. And uh, number one, I love you guys. You guys are you guys are awesome. Um, the testimonials in here are great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, mm. We had a killer weekend. Killer, 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 killer weekend. And I don't care what nobody says. The proof is in the pudding, and the pudding tastes good. Now. We have to address this situation. To the Oracle. I must say, um, I know you've been really wanting to get at me here. You tried, uh... Sorry, I just got a text message from the bartender. This girl says, uh... <laughs> this girl says, let me read it. I'm dating someone. So yeah, so I got this girl, this girl gave me her number, and uh, she's been a little bit elusive, and I have like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but for some reason, when a girl, I, I attract girls that have boyfriends, it's really screwed up, and so I called her out on it last night, I said, let me know when you're open for a couple hours one night, I know it's hot outside, so it's hard to get motivated to move, but I probably, whatever, uh, before I said, uh, something she has a boyfriend. She goes, yeah, I'm dating someone, but I'm always down to hang out for sure. <laughs> Anyways, um, Oracle, I called him the Boracle. I know that gets to him. I know that gets to you. So he's got a video. He's gonna hit me, guys. He's gonna he's gonna hit me. I tell you what, if I was one of my enemies right now, um, or a YouTube. Enemy, I guess. I don't know. I really only have one true enemy in my life. Um, an oracle's not it. But uh, we got a little YouTube beef going on. So he's going to put out a hit piece on me. I'm sure he says he's getting emails from uh, people from our Discord. Apparently, all the trades I make are bad. And um, I don't ever admit my mistakes. Apparently, I say I'm rich and filthy rich and whatever. I've said that I'm successful and that I, I'm doing well, but I'm 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 here in the building phase, and I've said that before. Um, so I'm gonna keep my eye for that. I'm sure it's gonna be very entertaining. He always makes shit up about me. Um, So I'm going to let him throw this punch and kind of see how dirty he gets. Um, I have plenty of ammo, but I'm not one to come out and, and throw low blows first. So we're going to see what his piece, what he says. And then uh, we'll see what I have to say about that. Okay. But I, I tell you what, we should do a little BitMEX versus Coinbase Connect. Why don't we do that? How many testimonials do you have with Coinbase Connect? We have a good community here. And we help each other out when mistakes are made. We have integrity. And you guys don't always listen. That's for damn sure. These people don't always listen. I tell people not to do t not to do 25x, 50x during the weekdays. They do it anyways. But whatever, we're all in this to learn and have a good time. I think that's pretty much it. So right now, remember, if if you don't know what's going to happen next, and nobody does, there is no way anyone knows what the hell is going to happen next unless you're controlling everything. Shit's going up, shit's going down. People are flopping and groping, but there's action. So that's good. And we're under the 8K mark. And I don't think we're done with 8,000 yet. I think we have to go over it one more time with our crayon chart. Oh, I almost forgot. 
I almost forgot. For the past two months, there's been a giveaway, you know, guys. Let me pull this up. Um... So we have a $500 giveaway for anyone who takes the best picture of the mug. And few have submitted, but this is the winner. Now we're going to dissect this picture a little bit. When I first saw this, I thought it was photoshopped. But uh, shout out to JBiz. His dad and his mom and this beautiful horsey. Look at this. Oracle, you let me know when you have fans like this. Now, people don't do stuff like this for no reason. It's because they feel like they've gotten value out of this channel. This is about as good as it gets, folks. I'm going to frame this picture. I'm going to have these two guys and their horse on a frame for the rest of my life and you know I've got I've got some really cool little fans this weekend I, I learned um, let me show you another one Ooh, this is um, I like this chart right here this is this is with the 1 million Bitcoin order when fu if futures contracts on Bitcoin get suspended Watch for the huge breakout. If futures contracts on Bitcoin get suspended, so there's no more new contracts for whatever, when a couple oversight committees look the other way, there is going to be such a huge pump of Bitcoin. It's going to be nuts. Anyways, shout out to some of my fans. Is that your crypto face? Yes. <laughs> she wanted to say have a good day, crypto face. Mm -hmm. She's your little sidekick. Mm. Aww. So, you know, these things help me get motivated. Uh, thank you for the support to all you guys. And now, like, golly, I have kids and stuff watching me, so I got to be careful with what I say. We have a good time here. You know what? Our crayon charts... They work. You know what I mean? Um, I stand by the sword. Live and die by it. Well, I'm going to flip this BitMEX pool back. You'll see. You guys will see. I can't wait for the weekend. I love trading against bots. It's a lot easier than trading against the unpredictability of the Rothschild whales.